As the patron of the Child Online Protection Initiative, it is a great pleasure to welcome all of your efforts today to raise awareness and share knowledge on issues related to the Child Online Safety Initiative. Since uh, 2010, I have been very committed to advocate for the protection of children while using ICTs. As digital natives, they have the need and mostly the right to learn, play, and share ideas in a safer and more secure online environment. To ensure this safe learning environment is our role as government leaders. Empowering children and youth to get involved in the shaping of their future will impact the success and economic growth of our nations. Our children and young people need to be listened, to be asked, because only in this way, together with them, we can make sure that we, as politicians, develop policies and strategies that can target their needs and challenges. Together with the Secretary General, Dr. Hamadou Touré, we organize a Global Youth Summit beyond 2013 with the aim to convene young people, both online and offline, to participate in a discussion on how technology can be used for good, more specifically, to shape the post-2015 agenda. Along with 700 participants meeting in San Jose, Costa Rica, in my country, over 3,000 young people around the world were logging in virtually to contribute their ideas from 43 hubs or workshops in 25 different countries using a unique crowdsourcing platform and other social media channels. At the end of the summit, young people have decided to define child online, online safety as a priority, and this highlighted in the final statement presented during the United Nations General Assembly in New York last September 2013. This is the why we need to take action. This is the war that our future is asking for, and this is the war they deserve. We have the responsibility and duty, and only by working together, joining forces, and harmonizing measure, we can make it happen. Thank you very much.